Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man Jay Will. This is the full review for the Moto G4 Play. This is an interesting one. Um, five, five inch display, 720p, 1080p recording uh, on the rear camera at 8 megapixels, 2 gigs of RAM, 2800 milliamp hour removable battery. Rear camera is f2.2, front camera is f2.2, coming in at 5 megapixels. This is a good buy. This even has HDR, face detection, panorama, touch to focus, geotagging, obviously. SD card slot that takes up to 256 gigs. This has 6.0.1. This has 16 uh, gigabytes onboard storage. There's a couple of different variants of it. This is 16 gigs with 2 gigs of RAM. Uh, this has a front firing speaker on it and uh, active noise cancellation. This thing is, this is a crazy buy right here. Now, most people pick this up on Black Friday for 35 bucks. And I was one of them. I, you know, this is just one of those things where I was like, man, I, I can't believe I'm grabbing this for such a great deal. I couldn't believe it. I just couldn't believe it. So, um, I, I don't, I'm, I'm going to turn the brightness down. That's what I'm going to do. Because this screen is so bright. You know, no matter what wallpaper I put. You know, I have the brightness all the way down and it still looks really sharp on camera. This is a really, really nice display. Now, it is an IPS LCD display, uh, and it, but it's really, really good. You still get 294 pixels per inch. So some people down Android phones that have 720p displays, but they big up iPhones that have 720p displays. I don't, it's like not even 720p. I think it's like 750 or something. I don't know. But the fact is, this is a great, great screen. The phone's regular price, $85 through Best Buy. Uh, you can find it on Unlocked for uh, $150. Sometimes you can find it for $99 on Amazon. Unlocked with the Amazon ads. It's just a bunch going on here. This is a beautiful, beautiful phone. So let me run down the, the, the review portion of this because obviously I really like this phone. I wish I had picked up like four of them so I can give them away for the new year or something like that. I'm trying to work on a very special giveaway. Uh, but this is going to be really hot, man. So the screen. Now, I do have the screen turned all the way down. This is the lowest setting in the uh, for brightness, as you can see. And it still comes across on camera really nice. I mean, that looks really good. So you're winning with this screen. Five inches is good. How about build quality? Build quality takes on the same thing as the Moto G line. This is the soft touch um, back on here. This does come in white, but I definitely would tell you guys to get the, the black one for this one. Um, you get the dimple still. You get a nice mic microphone cancellation on the back. You've got headphone jack up top. You've got charging sync down there. You've got a microphone on the front right there. It's a good look. And on this side, you've got nothing. You've got a ridged power button. Even this little phone has a ridged power button. Come on, OEMs. And you've got a nice raised tactile feedback there also on the uh, volume rocker. So the build quality on this thing, I definitely give it a go. I like the G4's build quality. So you know I'm going to like this build quality. This is crazy, man. <laughs> this is some good build quality on this little phone right here. Uh, besides the fact that I paid $35 for it, this, I, again, I don't know if I said it already, but this had to have been the best Black Friday deal in 2016. I know several people that picked this up, and this is a fantastic buy. Um, this thing has uh, a beautiful screen, like I said. The build quality is good. Let's move on to performance. Now, performance here has been good. I haven't had any problems. I load the same applications up that I have on all of my devices, and I've actually been really, really happy. This will get, this is running 6.0.1, it will get 7.0, uh, but the fact that this affordable phone is gonna get the next update to Android is pretty amazing because other OEMs with phones that cost 30 times the cost, I don't know, it's amazing that they won't get it in time. So, that's just something to think about. Even if you're not on Verizon and you want to get the unlocked version, I definitely can tell you this review is going to be good for this phone. I can definitely recommend it. Um, so, um, yeah, it's gonna, the software is good. It's going to get an update. We, we know this already. The speaker up here is actually louder than I thought it was going to be. 
I was actually pretty surprised at that speaker on top. Now I'll demo one of my videos here just to show you um, that it does work really good. It's pretty loud, man. It surprised me. I'm over LTE, so let's see here. Let's start over. All right, guys, welcome back to. Let's start over one time. With that Remember, I have this screen turned down in brightness. All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man Jay Focus S7 Focus. Here, and I got a new case in. Sorry for the glare. Got the big LEDs going. Uh, I'm gonna pop this out. This is just a nice little uh, case, impact style case. It's not the highest quality. I'm the speaker is good. That that front fire speaker right there, peak volume, sounds better than a ton of other phones <laughs> with loudspeakers coming out of the bottom. So um, I don't think you'll be uh, disappointed with the speaker on this phone at all. This phone has fallen into that category where wow, eighty five bucks, a hundred bucks, uh, you know, special deal, thirty five dollars. It's fallen into that category where it's a good deal. You just can't go wrong with it. So um, I think you'll really enjoy that speaker right there, to say the least. I mean, obviously, you can tell my voice. I'm really excited about this purchase. Uh, this was a good deal. So screen, build quality, performance, speaker quality, uh, all high marks for me. Let's move on to battery. Now, battery life on here uh, is something that will probably blow you away. You can probably, uh, I'm a heavy user, and I think I was still able to pull down over six hours of screen on time. I think I did over seven, actually. But anyway, battery life on here, you should be able to pull down some serious numbers, uh, especially if you're not a heavy user. You'll be able to really lock in some great battery. Like, you shouldn't have to charge this every day or probably every two days, and a light user every three or four days. That's how good this battery is, man. I am not lying. Now, I haven't tested call quality over this thing yet because this is the Verizon version. And again, I don't have Verizon anymore. But here's what I did. I wanted to test this out to see if it would actually work on T-Mobile. So I put my SIM card in there. And of course, it was locked to the prepaid network. So I actually got the unlock for like a dollar and 60 cents. And while it does not, you can see LTE up there at the top. Uh, this is actually T-Mobile LTE. Uh, let's see there. T-Mobile LTE. The only thing that works for this phone is data and text messaging. Uh, and someone asked me in another video, did text messaging work? Yo, you're absolutely right. Text messaging does work. So um, I can probably actually make a voice call over Hangouts. Um, you know, just talking to someone over Hangouts because that uses data. I've done that plenty of times. So... You technically can make phone calls. You just need to call somebody on a messaging type of app. Uh, Facebook Messenger, I guess. I don't use Facebook Messenger, but I think it has calls. Um, you know, Just any kind of messaging app that makes phone calls, you can actually use it for that. So you could grab yourself a, a $30 plan or a prepaid plan somewhere and uh, have unlimited texting on it or whatever. You know, it, it, It'll just work. But just no phone calls through the actual dialer. So keep that in mind if you're trying to buy this to get it unlocked. Uh, it won't work. So, um, I've covered the body, I've covered the screen, I've covered the speaker, I've covered the battery, I've covered performance. Um, it does, it, it, you can unlock it, but you can't make phone calls because I have my T-Mobile LTE SIM card in here and I can text message and I can use data. As you can see, I just played a video. Um, it's good, man. Uh, obviously not being able to make phone calls through the regular app, that might be a problem for a lot of people. But some people are like, I don't care. I'll just make a voice call through data because I have unlimited data or whatever. They just they'll do it over some kind of messaging app. So that's good. Um, would I recommend this phone really? Of course I would. Not because of the low prices that you can get it at, but basically because it's going to get the latest Android. It pretty much is stock build. This is a good look, man. I mean, this is a <laughs> this is a hot phone right here. I would definitely recommend this. Forget about it having a Snapdragon 410 uh, and, and having a 720p display. It's got a five inch display. Like my my Honor my Honor 8 right here costs costs much more. This costs a lot more. So, man, 
I, I would definitely tell you, hey, I definitely, and you see, it's got the glint, like I pick it up, you can get your notifications set. This is a lot that comes along with this phone that I enjoy, and the price point is crazy. Man, I'd mess around and just activate me. Uh, well, I don't need to, but if I if I was a person who didn't have Verizon, and I grabbed this, and or I just wanted to sell, I would recommend this to a prepaid customer in a heartbeat. And if you're a Verizon customer, definitely go get this phone. If you want to become a Verizon customer, and you don't want to do a contract, this is the phone to get, period, hands down. This is the one to get. Um, sometimes we sneak up on good deals like this and we don't know what we got. I, I, was, I, I just saw the deal and obviously, I think you've probably heard me say it a million times, I grabbed this for $35 on Black Friday, uh, 2016. I don't know what if we're in 2017 yet when you're watching this, but I grabbed this for 35 bucks, and I'm sure it'll go on sale again even before the next Black Friday in 2017. It'll probably be like nine bucks in 2017 if they're still moving them units out. But this 2800 milliamp hour battery in here is great. The performance is great. I don't know what to tell you, man. I think I would recommend it. The build quality is pretty good. Um, you know, it doesn't have like the moto gestures and stuff like that. Uh, but it does, in fact, um, have a, a really nice camera. Um, oh, cameras. I didn't cover. Well, I've already covered cameras in another video. But cameras, I just talked about them in this video. This 8 megapixel shooter on the back does really really well when i put that video footage up for this phone people were like oh man i can't believe it uh it takes great photos let me see if i can, can get my 360 cam right here i'm just going to take a, a quick photo of this 360 cam i was going to show you the uh stock um the what 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 uh, um i can't get my words out what um build it was on i'll take a picture real quick now I got the brightness all the way down, so I'll, I'll I'm gonna brighten it back up so you can see this photo. I'll just put it to about right there. Look at that photo. It's really bright, so it's kind of difficult to see, but it's a good photo. Take my word for it. It's a good photo. Um, I mean, I don't, I don't know, how, <laughs> I don't know how else I can explain it to you. It's a great phone. You see how the brightness all the way down, and you can still kind of see it's really good on 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 camera there. But hey, listen, the Moto G4 Play is a win. Uh, SD card slot, good cameras, front camera is really good on here too. They're f2.2, so they're good, and you're gonna get software updates. So I think somebody asked me about the Verizon bloatware. Do you see any? Nope, because with this prepaid version, there's not as much Verizon bloatware, and I think I disabled the little bit that was in there. There wasn't a lot in here, if I can remember, and I, I either deleted it and it let me take it right off, or I disabled it. So let's just go in here and check real quick. Let's go to disabled apps. Yeah, there we go. The prepaid version let me disable everything. On some of the postpaid versions that I've got of their phones, it doesn't let me do that. So that lets you know you can disable everything, all the Verizon stuff on the phone. I don't have anything left Verizon on here. I don't think I do. Yeah, it's all gone. So as you can see, I'm actually using the Google Messenger uh, messaging app right there. So hey, man, is the Moto G4 Play a good phone? It sure is. Should you buy it? You need to get out there right now and get it. It's your man, Jay Will. I will see you guys in the next one. A little unorthodox on this review, but I wanted to get it out to you. Take care.